how to convert Canva website design to Wix. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make a Canva website or if you have, or in case you have created a Canva website, how we can integrate that website or that uh, design into your Wix website. It is basically going to be here an easy process and very simple so we are going to disintegrate whether the website component from the um canva and we are going to make it like a slideshow or image slideshow basically it is going to be here the only solution for us now we are going to head over canva.com we are going to sign in into our account we are going to select one of the websites that we have or let's go ahead uh, to one of our websites. So basically we are going to set up our website. Here we have it. So here basically everything that you're going to put in this website is not going to work anymore as a website. It is going only to see or the visitors only going to see here something that it is static and also uh, they are going to see as a highlighted images so basically keep that in mind now here we have the uh, as you can see canva website we're going to make sure that we have here the uh, we'll publish the website everything is set so we are going to make it as a design so we are going to put it as simplified as possible so i'm going to put here the uh let's say the background image as this photo so we are going to have here the elements put up as this shape so i'm going to add this shape like that i'm going to put it here and uh put these elements here now we are going to change the color of it to something more bright maybe like that or like this so this is better i think now what we are going to do is to head over square not squarespace but wix we can do the same procedure on squarespace by the way we're going to head over wix we're going to uh, sign in into our account until we see here the site dashboard from here we are going to select one of the websites that we have and then what are we going to do is to click on select an uh, edit site it will open up here the dashboard of that website and from here you are going to see the uh, dashboard of yours now what are we going to do here is we have no business actually with this page we're going to click on design site or edit site it will open up right there the website of Wix. Here I have preloaded my website, as you can see. And what are we going to do is to have here a new section. And that section is going to be here a, um, let's say a white or a blank section. So we are going to add some elements or one element only. We're going to head over the embed code and then we are going to embed a site so either we are going to uh, embed a site a complete site or embed html so we are going to first set up the site i'm going to embed my site here we are going to head over wix now we are going to click on publish the parameters i'm going to let you see it here so basically here this is the website making bio my jack so is that a published website or not so i don't know now we are going back here so basically we are going to put it just like this uh unfortunately i do not have the option to publish this website i have some published ones so we are going to do that with the ones that we have so i have transferred this website from the old version which is this 
to a published website so i have copied and pasted all the elements now we are going to click on publish website we are going to make sure that we have everything uh, posted i'm going to click on republish so here we are going to actualize or refresh the website that we have already created and then we are going to copy the link we're going to view our website first make sure that it is fully functional so we are going to have here this website so boom now what i am going to do here is to close that website copy the link of it head over wix and then we are going to uh, paste the https here click on apply and we are going to see our website here this is a fully functional website integration so we are going to put our website in here basically we are going to size it to the top of the section that we have put it to so we are going to make it just like that and we are going to make here the whole website available in this so we are going to have it just like that so we are going to let the scroll wheel appear like this so we are going to click on save now we are going to wait for a few seconds i'm going to click on done now we are going to click on review and it will preview here the thing so basically this is our canva website or canva designed website as you can see everything is fully functional right there so we can go ahead and mess up with the things here that could be set up live like submitting forms and using some features just like that and etc that was the first method now if we want to add the website as a design and not a actual website we are going to delete that and instead we are going to add not here a, a website so we are going to head over not a embedded website but embedded in html so basically we are going to add a, the code here so we are going not to put the website address but the code we're going to head over here canva then what are we going to do is to click on share on the website that we have now what are we going to do next is to click on the co or three points right there dots you can name them dots like that like that and then we are going to select embed from embed we are going to get here the option to embed this uh, particular design but as a design for pages and not a website i'm going to click on embed again here we have a smart link or embedded link or a html embed code we're going to click on copy now we are going to head over wix click on the uh, field that is special for H here https or html codes then we are going to paste it here so you are going to see everything i'm going to click on update and we are going to wait for the design to load up as you can see here we have a different aspect of the uh, website and we are going to make the section a little bit smaller so we are going to fit it just in here now what are we going to do is to click on save this is the first thing and we are going to click on preview and we are going to see here the difference so here as you can see we do not have the scroll wheel we do not have some interacting elements but we have here the controllers of the slideshow so these are going to be some slideshows uh, i don't know if you have saw before but here we've had this form it is going to be here also functional like before also like this and like that we are going to have only the uh, things that are going to be here static 
that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one